Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathleen and I am back after like a year of being MIA and today to kickstart my YouTube rebirth, <laughs> we're going to do the clear your shit challenge for the month of June. Um, I'm going to be showing you my TBR picks for that challenge that I, as well as my wife, picked out um, for the nine prompts in this challenge. Um, so, without further ado, we're going to start. I have the questions written right here, that's why I'm looking to the side. Um, so, <laughs> the first prompt is a book you got because of other media. Um, I just set this as like a book that I found on social media, so I actually, actually found about this author in general on social media, and that is The Honey Witch by Sydney J. Shields. And I saw this book last year on Instagram, and I have been dying for this book ever since. Like, it sounds so amazing. The author is so adorable, and she actually posted um, to where you could get the first chapter and read it, and I read it, and her writing just immediately grabbed my attention. Um, it's a sapphic romance with witches, so I mean, what more could you ask for? I don't know, but it's also kind of like cottage core. Um, I got like the little signed edition from her local indie store, I believe. Um, so she signed it and she drew like stick figures, which I thought was really cute. And I got like the character art that it came with but I am really excited for this book. Um, definitely high on my list to read it immediately. So we had to put her in the challenge. So this is book one. Um, the next prompt is a book that is your favorite genre. Can you tell that my favorite genre <laughs> is fantasy, fantasy romance? Um, for this one, I did pick like a YA fantasy, I think. Um, which why fantasy is not my favorite but fantasy romance is my favorite and I've been really wanting to read this book so I picked Bow Before the Elf Queen by J.M. Curl? Carol? I don't know. This book um, this is the bookish box edition which I think is really pretty um, I want to get like the rest of the series but I also don't want to buy the bookish box ones if I don't like the series so I'm gonna read the first one um, I picked this for another challenge I think it was the April challenge I did and I literally did three out of the nine prompts but I tried so we're gonna re-put this one into the June clear your shit challenge and then if I love it I will buy the other bookish box editions for the rest of the series they have done two and three and then there's still like a fourth book I don't know if there's going to be a fifth book in this series or not, we'll see, but I'm really excited for this one. Um, so the next prompt is a book with a white or sparkly cover. Um, I guess I have a lot of books with a white or sparkly cover, so, so I just had like, I was doing this with my wife last night trying to pick the book, so she ended up picking this book for me. So she really liked the color cover of this one. It is Omen of Ice by Ju Just Accardo. Um, and this one is also a YA fantasy, I believe. This is the Owl Crate edition, and it is really pretty. She said it's kind of shiny and white, so why not this one? Um, and I never have picked this up before so it's actually good because I need to get through I need to clear my shit that's the point of this so I want to get through a lot of the special editions that I got from subscription boxes when I was getting all of the subscription boxes I mean the three of them but all of those subscriptions um I am no longer getting Owl Crate or the Fairy Loot YA but I am getting the Fairy Loot Romanticy book only subscription and the bookish box darkly subscription with goodies so that one's like the I think it's like dark romance like adult books um, which I've gotten to so far and I really like it um, 
the first book I got was like the book of Azrael and I really wanted that one and the edition is really pretty so that's not the point of this video but so I'm gonna read this one prompt number four is a book with drama um the next book for this is I mean I know that this book has drama so that's why I picked it but I also am really curious like a lot of people talk about this book on social media a lot of people are like this is my favorite series so I just want to jump in. So that book is Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings. Um, I'm really interested to see what the hype is. I'm sorry for the glare. The hype is for this series. Um, I'm hoping that I really like it. Um, so I did put it in this challenge. Um, a couple of these books, I'll link at my friend Ashley's page down below. She also picked a few of the same ones. I did mine after her, so I copied her a little bit, but um, I do love to do buddy reads, so maybe we can do a couple of those, Ashley. Um, so we'll see how we like this book. The next prompt is a book you have low expectations for, and when I was talking to my wife about what book I wanted to pick for this, I was having a really hard time because I was like, why? I felt, I felt really bad about saying like I had low expectations for a book that I purchased. And so I was texting my friend Ashley, <laughs> shout out to Ashley for the whole video, um, about it and she reminded me of a conversation we had about this book. We were both really excited about it and we got it in our fairy loot romanticy subscription. But the reviews have been really mixed but a lot of them have been really negative actually. So I chose this book to see if hopefully I like it um, because I was originally really excited about it but now I'm really not sure because of all of the negative reviews so we'll just dive in and see. That book is Lore of the Wilds by Anna Lee. I'm not gonna say her last name because I don't know how to say it. The book is beautiful. I was so excited for this book to release and I saw that it was rumored to be the first book for the Fairy Loot subscription, so I waited to get it in the box, but the reviews have been really mixed, so we'll just have to see. We're gonna have to read it to find out because maybe I'll love it, maybe I won't. To be determined. All right, prompt number six um, is a book with a map. Now, as a fantasy reader, I have a lot of books with maps, but it was really funny because as I'm trying to pick this book, my wife and I are going through all of my bookshelves and it, tell me why it took us like 10 minutes to find a book with a map. Because at that point I couldn't remember any books that have maps in them, I don't know. Um, so I ended up opening this book. This was the first one I opened that had a map in it and I actually, surprise, I'm really excited to read it. That's what I always say. Um, and it is Mountain of Glass by Scarlet St. Clair. I love Scarlet St. Clair. Um, I think I've only read one book by her, but I fell in love with it. It was King of Battle and Blood. Um, and then I bought like six more of her books. So anyway, I bought this one. It's super short. Um, I've heard that it's really good. It's kind of like a, it's a fairy tale retelling. I don't remember what the fairy tale retellings are for this. I want to say she said it was a mixture of fairy tales and there is another one coming out in this collection soon, I believe this year. Um, so I want to read it so I can feel better about picking up the second one without reading the first one. Um, but yeah, so I did pick this one and I'm super excited about it. I didn't expect it to have a map in it, honestly, but we have a map. The next prompt for number seven is free space um i didn't know what to read for this one so my wife picked this one again and she picked from my owl crate stack um so this is the whispering dark by kelly andrew um which i mean it's really pretty and she was really into the cover so that's exciting i have no idea what it's about i feel like i've seen some stuff about it on instagram so i'm pretty excited about it I'm saying this as if I'm going to read all nine books. The hope is that I read all nine of these books, but we'll see. They're not super long, so, well, one of them is super long, but that is what I will be doing for my free space. Next, I have a book someone recommended, and this one I, t I asked my friend Ashley <laughs> if she could 
recommend a book off my shelf so I sent her a picture of all of my bookshelves and she picked off of them. Um, she was super excited for me to read this one. So that is Electric Idol by Katie Robert. I have read Neon Gods. I did like Neon Gods a lot actually, but she said this one's better. Um, so I'm really excited about it. I have not bought the rest of the books in the Dark Olympus, I think it's called Dark Olympus series, um, because I hadn't read the second one yet, but I'm really excited to read it and then maybe I'll buy the other ones in the series. So that is book number eight. Now book number nine, y'all are going to be like, Kathleen, why would you pick a book like this? for a challenge that you have to read nine books for. The reason being is, that, well, there's a couple reasons. Number one, I already started it like this week because it was time and it needed to happen. It was supposed to happen at the beginning of May. Now it's happening at the end of May. It's gonna spill over into June. So this is book one, even though it's prompt nine and it fits the, it fits the prompt and I'm reading it anyway. I am gonna be reading Kingdom of Ash as Prompt 9, which is a book that is part of a series. I have been reading Throne of Glass for like a year and a half, maybe, maybe, yeah, like a year and a half. So I am finally on Kingdom of Ash and I am literally on chapter one, but we're going to be reading this now and through June. So I don't know if it's going to be the first one I finish, but it's the first one I start. Um, as we all know, she's almost like a thousand pages and I am not the fastest reader in the library. So I don't know, but we're going to try to get through this book in June. Um, so yeah, Kingdom of Ash. And that is the nine books that I will be reading for the Clary. They all just fell, um, but they're fine. So. That is all the books that I will be reading for the Clear Your Shit Challenge in June. Um, thank you for the people who made the Clear Your Shit Challenge because this is really fun actually. Um, and thank you Ashley for sending it to me. And then thank you guys so much for watching. I guess I'll post like a, a wrap up obviously for June and we'll see how many books I actually got to read out of this stack. Hopefully it's a lot. We're gonna say hopefully all of them, but I don't, I don't know if I can, but we're gonna try. That's why it's a challenge. Keep reminding myself. So we're gonna try. We're gonna see in the wrap up what I got to and my ratings and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, do the YouTube stuff, like it, comment, subscribe. Um, hopefully I will be posting more frequently. Um, I'm kind of back in my YouTube mood so we're gonna have more stuff not just like unboxing because I'm getting less subscription boxes trying to read all of the books on my shelves and see what we can come up with here so I'm really excited to jump back in and hopefully you guys are too so I will see you in my next video